What's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna to be transforming my office from this to this by just rearranging a few things with a total budget under $100. This is currently my and my dog's office and today we are going to change how it looks. So overall, I'm happy with the desk setup as it is, but I think it will look better in a different spot in this room. And as you can tell, there's just not a lot going on. We get quite a bit of echo because the walls are so bland. I've been in this room for five years now and we've not done a lot to it. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and move this desk to this wall, put something here, Move the treadmill maybe here. We do need to get it downstairs, but we don't have any outlets down there since the basement's not finished. So it's probably gonna go here for now. And you may have seen some shots from here, and this is actually our guest bedroom, which although not bad, uh, I would like to have my space be usable for recording as well. So there are three things I want to accomplish when building this room. Number one, feeling comfortable, productive, efficient in the space that I'm working in. Number two, right now when I'm recording, the camera is facing at me this way and behind me I have those windows. So I want to have a space where I can also film my content and not have to sit in this room. And number three, have it be a little bit more functional than it is now. I could add some greenery, some shelving, and I want to put some stuff on the walls. So we're going to go ahead and do that. But also kind of three and a half, keep the budget under $100. I don't want to spend a whole lot of money to make this happen. I want to use a lot of the stuff I have already. So potentially adding some greenery, fake plants, maybe like this here, and some additional lighting. And then of course, we can't forget the doggy. She's gonna have to have her bed somewhere, somewhere in here, I think. I'll need to stick it where my desk is now so she can have a nice spot under the window while I'm here, or she might get a corner, but we'll see. So I'm gonna start taking this stuff and getting a lot of it over here so we can go ahead and move this desk with not as much stuff on it because I don't want to bunch the carpet up. I need to get a new one of these. This is cracked, but that's what we got for now. I don't know if you guys have seen those glass ones by things like Vitrazi or Vitazi. I don't know the name. It's, it's something like with a D. If you guys are watching, I'll take one. All right, guys, so I thought for a second it could look here. I brought in my wife as a consultant. She did like it, but I still feel like I'm gonna like it more on this wall. All right, so so right here, not quite feeling it. I feel like there's a lot of light coming in like to one eye, and I don't know if it's gonna give me headaches. Something is saying it's gonna cause headaches, so we're gonna try this wall, see how this one looks, feels, sit at it, roll around for a little bit, and if not that wall, we're gonna move this treadmill to here. And this, this is just a, a beast of a thing that needs to go downstairs, but let's go ahead and get the desk here. <laughs> Alright guys, we're going to put you here. We're going to try and tip this up to get the desk to fit in. I don't even know if this tips. Oh my god, it's heavy. Alright, let's just turn out just to see like if we could even live with it. I like this. I like it a lot. Do you guys like this? me from the future chiming in here. I ended up ordering some LED lights off of Amazon. They were the Govi $15 LEDs. They ended up looking pretty nice. So I got them and this is what this process here is all about. I did end up doing some cable management. We routed everything to the other outlet and I got the LEDs wrapped around the desk. All right, and here is the finished setup of the new desk location. 
Starting on the left side, we have a simulated mango tree. We have two monitors tied to a M2 MacBook Air, Herman Miller embodied chair, and then I'll sit down and show you the rest. So as we get into it here, iPad, AirPods, point and shoot camera, we have the Vanatu Transparent Zero speakers. They have removable magnet covers, a fake plant USB-C USB cable behind here, a Amazon Basics monitor stand, the 50 millimeter lens for this. I need to get some shelving still. We have the MX keys for MacBook and the MX Master 3S, the pluggable dock, which allows me to run the two monitors on my MacBook. And up top, we have some Forerunners. I'm a big fan of the Forerunner, a Lamborghini, and a keyboard that I broke in the process of putting this desk together. As I was moving this into position, I hit the escape key and it broke entirely off. I now have that up here, but I don't think there's any fixing it because if you look here, the plastic did snap pretty much entirely in half. So if I try to stick it back on top, it just kind of doesn't. So yeah, not entirely upset. This was wired and I was looking to get a wireless one at some point. So that is just what that is right now. We have the MacBook itself behind this side, another speaker. This one is tethered to all the cords, which powers the subwoofer over here. We have a blue Yeti on a mic arm here, so we can go ahead and do some voiceovers. And then we have the PC itself, which was the NZXT build kit. So it came with all the components and I put them together. So it does have the RTX 3070 and an AMD 5600X, 16 gigs of RAM and a 120 millimeter AIO. Uh, I do spend a lot more time on this Mac. I use this every single day. I do my editing on here. The PC is more for gaming and fun. LEDs did get put on the side of this desk and on the back, so we now have a little bit of color. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. You enjoyed the process of me rebuilding it. I still wanna get something up on this wall here, a little shelf perhaps, and then maybe a tiered shelf over here that we can put some lights on as well to really complete this room. But there it is, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I gave you some inspiration. If you liked it, let me know down in the comments and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content like this.